Wait, 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 time out. You claim that white men are the greatest threat to black people, so you turn around and marry one? What's going on, everybody? Appreciate you guys all being here. I am Ty Smith. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. Please do me a favor. Make sure you follow me at all the platforms that's listed up here in the black and the ones down here. To you who have jumped on and joined Patreon, I really, really appreciate it. I will be responding. Trust me, I will. Give me some time, okay? But I really do, really, really do thank you guys for supporting me on the Patreon, okay? And also, make sure you guys do me a favor and hit that like button so that this video can be circulated within the YouTube algorithm and that my content can consistently be recommended to you, the subscribers. So, ladies and gentlemen, we got to talk about Don... Uh, Donna Lemonade, you know, the man who just got done getting his butt handed to him by Elon Musk. You know, the man who tried to race bait Elon Musk, the man who tried to push on this whole agenda of us just being down and out now, tried systemic racism. Black people can't get ahead. Don Lemon, who went on there with Elon Musk, claiming that his situation, how he had to struggle, that is different than that of Elon Musk, as if the white man is the enemy. So what does Don Lemon do? He Marries a white man. Don Lemon marries Tim Malone in New York City. Wedding attended by famous friends like Matt Lauer, Luan de Lisette. I don't know how to say that. Whoever that is, Luan de Lisette. Can you imagine saying that as a gay person like that? Whoever, you know, you know no particular type of flamboyant gay man. Luan de Lisette. No. Anyway, and more. Let's get into this. Don Lemon is a married man, the former CNN anchor who has now his own streaming program on the Don Lemon Show, tied the knot with his longtime partner, Tim Malone. So is it Don Lemon Malone or is it Don Malone Lemon? Don Lemon Lemon, Lemon Malone. Don Lemon. Try saying that. Don Lemon Lemon Malone. <laughs> Don Lemon Malone. It's like you're saying, leave me alone. Don Lemon Malone. <laughs> anyway, married him on Saturday. Lemon, who is 58 and is real estate broker. Husband, 40. I'm older than Don Lemon's husband. Time out. This dude. Oh, wait, wait a minute. I thought this dude was older looking than that. I'm just saying. Holy smokes. Don Lemon, you robbing a cradle? Or are you getting your cradle robbed? <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> they say, Ty, stop. You digging a deeper hole. I don't know. Maybe Don Lemon's getting this hole dug. <laughs> Let me stop. Uh, let me stop. Stop it, Ty. Uh, Lemon 58 and real estate broker 40 exchanged vows during a ceremony at Fifth Avenue Presbyterian Church in Midtown Manhattan in front of approximately 140 guests, according to people. And there you see Don Lemon celebrating his marriage right there. There he is with his husband. I don't know who these people are in the background. There it is again. The wedding occurred at Fifth Avenue Presbyterian Church. There you go again. Don Lemon and his husband. He kind of reminds me of that guy that was on like Mad TV. They always play like that baby. Or at least right here he does. And there Don Lemon and his husband is with their puppies. More celebration going on. Their three dogs were also part of the ceremony inside Fifth Avenue Presbyterian Church in Midtown Manhattan. The number of those guests included celebrities like Today's Show, Matt Lauer, View host Sonny Hostin, Joy Bear, Anna Navarro, Alec Baldwin, Clive Davis. Real Housewives of New York City uh, alum that Luanne D. Lesseps and Tamron Hall. After saying I do, the grooms flashed huge smiles as they exited the church carrying their three dogs who were part of the event. Lemon and Malone, <laughs> that sounds so funny saying that, Lemon and Malone rocked velvet tuxedos by Sue Supply in different shades. The former wore green while the latter Went with Navy. There's some more people right there. There's Sunny, who's looking like she need to eat. There's Clive, famously for making Whitney Houston into the huge star she is. The ceremony will the ceremony will reportedly be followed by a reception at Ralph Lauren's Polo Bar, according to the Daily Mail. I wonder if John Lemon gonna rub any of his taint anywhere, y'all. Y'all, some of y'all that don't know that story, yeah. The big day comes eight years after the pair who met at Almond Restaurant in Bridgehampton, New York, first started dating. 
The event also fell on Malone's birthday as well as the five-year anniversary of their engagement. A few days prior to the wedding, Lemon and Malone said they weren't too nervous about their big day. So we can see more people are walking in, news people. Look like you've seen him on the Today Show or CNN. There's Matt Lauer. I'm surprised they didn't boo him. There she is from off of The View. There's Joy with Albert Einstein. Or is that Bernie Sanders? No, I'm just joking. I don't know who that is. Oh, her husband, Steve Genowitz. I'm a last-minute person, let me tell people. Uh, so is Elon Musk when he fired you. <laughs> right at the last minute, right? Anyway, in most things, I just don't worry about, he said. But this one I'm secretly worried about. I'm letting Tim take the reins because he's a good planner, he continued. I'll be writing questions for like the UN ambassador and he'll be saying, oh, when are they going to put the buttons on our jackets? It's an important question, but I'm just like, huh, what? So he has a million questions, but usually he gets it done without me even answering. There they are again. Lemon and Malone got married five years after getting engaged. Here they go again with their pictures right there. Here they go again with their selfies. <laughs> uh, more pictures. The grooms incorporated marriage traditions inspired by each of their families into the ceremony, which officiated their friend, United States Ambassador to the United Nations, Linda Thomas Greenfield. They also wanted a big wedding despite having such a long engagement. We wanted to make a public statement, Malone told people. And we wanted to involve our loved ones. We obviously could have easily gone to City Hall. We could have used COVID as a perfect excuse to do something really quiet. But I think this is also a message. For I don't know what percent our guests on both sides. But for a lot of them, it's going to be their first gay wedding. The newlyweds entered the church as what a wonderful world played aloud. Later, they exited to sign, seal, delivered. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So, to me, with all this Don Lemon married business and everything, why not do it and try to keep some type of relevance, relevance, I meant relevance to what happened earlier? I have a few questions, though, out of all of this. Don Lemon, why would you go and marry a white man? And I have no problem with nobody marrying who they want to, but I want to ask Don Lemon this specifically because he is the one who pushed the rhetoric that white people, he goes along with the whole thing of them being inherently racist. They are the oppressor. They are the reason why black people are where they are. They are the reason why there is systemic Racism. Don Lemon struggled and had issues and he walked a different thing that Elon Musk and other white men will never be able to understand. He had traumas that Elon Musk never would have to go through. He had traumas that none of you white people listening would ever have to go through. He had to go through that because of the color of his skin. And with all that being said, what does he do? He turns around and marries that very thing. Does that make sense to y'all? All of these politicians in here playing games about racism, racism, systemic racism. Oh, white people are the enemy. White people are the enemy to AOC. What color is the man she with? White. Kajinti Brown. The DEI elected individual in the Supreme Court. Look what color her husband is. White. Don Lemon. His husband now. White. What color is uh, Kamala Harris' husband? White. Does that make sense to you to sit there and claim, the, oh, whoa, white this, white? Because I'm just telling you, I know some black people who are super pro-black. They so pro-black, they don't believe no, no black people should be marrying no white. They won't marry a white person, right? They won't be caught dating a white person because they believe that this system is all rigged up to do nothing more than to benefit white people. So they don't marry white people. I get that. But people like Don Lemon, all these folks, I had these, some of y'all political leaders, they're doing the complete opposite of what they're preaching. Does that make sense to you? No, absolutely not. Anyway, what was I saying? He got to find some way to get himself out of the pocket. What are you talking about, Ty? You see now CNN fired him. Boom, boom, boom. That went down. He got a contract with X, formerly known as Twitter. His first interview was with Elon Musk, where he got completely destroyed and crushed. He even got even more destroyed and crushed when he went back to the company that fired him, CNN, 
to complain about Elon Musk firing him, which is something the CNN Dem did themselves. He then went and cried on the view, the cackling hens, to go to them, and I need some sympathy, this is so wrong, this is so wrong, and thought that he was going to get a lot of sympathy from that, and people still continued to crush him with the rhetoric he was pushing. He's a non-issue. He's becoming irrelevant. So now what does he do? He tries to pull off a big, huge wedding. Everybody first gay wedding. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is Don doing this for? Why is he trying to keep himself in the limelight? What's going to be next? Don Lemon and his husband is going to proclaim that they're now going to find a surrogate mother who might have the sperm of either one. Or Don Lemon might have the sperm use his sperm to impregnate a surrogate mother while his husband, Mr. Malone, may use his sperm to impregnate another woman so where they can both try to have their sons at, or their daughters at the same time. I'm telling y'all, I might be wrong, but I'm just telling you this, what a lot of people do when they're out of the limelight, nobody cares about them, nobody even knows them anymore. They have to try to do something to keep themselves relevant. And what better way to keep yourself relevant than going along with the wave of the LGBTQIA? Pretty soon they're going to be ambassadors and shareholders and the company they're gonna be the voice of the lgbtq companies watch just watch gotta find some way to keep themselves out there anyway let me know what you guys think about this whole situation right here do y'all want to congratulate them or some of y'all like Ugh, you already know what i'm gonna be thinking if you have been following my channel know how i am as a christian yeah you should know where i stand on things like this but do i hate individuals who are gay trans or anything like that absolutely not i don't hate any of them i wish them all the best but if you're going to ask me to use this and talk about this from a Christian standpoint, that's for, my, that's for another video. No agreement with this lifestyle or anything like that whatsoever. You can look at me and see the type of person that I've married and the type of how, the homes that I have, the vehicles that I have. You will look and say, oh, I don't want that. Yeah. yeah, we all have a right to do that, right? There's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't make me transphobic or anything like that. It's just according to my belief, mm -mm. according to Don and his husband's belief, they will look at my lifestyle and say, mm-mm. That's what makes it so great, isn't it? Anyway, let me know what y'all think of this right here by putting in the comments below after this video. Do not forget to hit that like button. Please hit that like button so that this video can be circulated and my content can be consistently recommended to you. You better double check to make sure that you still are subscribed to the channel because YouTube will unsubscribe you from the channel, all right? Let's hear it, folks. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, and I hope and pray every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.